Ooh, hello! Today, we are drawing this crazy little bee. Now, I like him. I think he's hilarious and he makes me smile. So let's get into this. Here's what I started with. The usual black marker. I got a little tiny bit of blue up here on his wings and a nice bright yellow. This one turned out to be super bright and it's called Laser Lemon, in case you're curious. So let's get started. Here we go. We are gonna draw this bee. Get your markers ready. Okay. First thing my bee needs is a body. I'm gonna start with the biggest thing. So it's gonna be a nice, big circle. Wow. Got a little out of control down here at the bottom. It's gonna be okay. I'm cool with that. It's kind of lumpy. It's kind of bumpy. It's not a perfect circle, but you know what? It looks cool. I don't like things that are perfect. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is draw an eyeball. A bee eyeball. Ready? This is going to be another circle. Let's go right there. Okay. Now this part, we're not going to do a full circle for his other eyeball. What we're going to do is kind of a half half circle right there. Next up, we're going to be drawing the inside of his eyeball, the pupil. Sometimes when I draw these, I don't fully make it a circle, but like a little crescent shape. And that way it looks like his eye has like a little highlight in it, you know? So on this side, I'm going to try to squeeze a little in there. There we go. It's just kind of looking at us. Now, Mr. B needs eyebrows always, right? My bee is a super happy camper, so let's give him a nice little smile. So I'm doing a little curve, and then I'm going to put kind of an arrow shape at the end, like that. Now, what else does a bee usually have? Our bee needs some wings. They're gonna be little tiny wings because I think that's silly. All right. Now these wings, it's just another circle. Everything in this picture is a circle today, I think. Look at this, little circle. And then for the other wing, I'm gonna come in kind of behind the first wing or next to it, and then a little circle like that. And to finish off these wings, I'm just going to draw a little swoop right there. And we can make these wings look like they're flapping if we give them a couple of little speed lines. Bam! It's going fast. Buzzing. Makes them look like they're shaky or they're, they're moving. Okay. And right now, kind of looks like a tomato. But we're going to fix that. <laughs> so what we're going to do is this little bee needs a stinger. I'm going to draw it right here. Just a little triangle. Right there. Tiny little stinger. He's a nice bee. He doesn't need a big stinger, right? He's, he's a round little bumblebee. He's just, a, just floating along. All right. Next up, a bee usually needs stripes, right? So we're gonna draw some stripes now. You could draw your stripes straight, but that wouldn't that wouldn't make the bee feel like he's round, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to curve my stripe this way. And this is going to make the bee feel like he's around. Okay. Now this part is, is going to get all filled in. 
with black. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna draw another stripe. And then next to it, I'm gonna draw another line. Like that. And I think I want my bee to have three stripes. If you've got a longer bee, you might need more stripes. Or if you have a shorter bee, maybe two is good. I'm gonna add one last stripe. Okay, now this part is gonna be black. This part's gonna be black. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this all in and I will be right back. Okay, so the final step with our black marker is to make this B feel kind of fuzzy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on these stripes. I'm just gonna kind of add some some squiggles like this just so that like the stripes feel maybe a little fuzzier a little less even all right and just kind of do that on all of them squiggling like i said i don't like things that are perfect i like things that are a little bit uh a little bit crazier sometimes it's more fun Okay, and then I might add some little hairs, just kind of popping out. A little hair there, a little hair there. Pop, pop. Then maybe some on the edge. Just a few here and there. Wherever you feel like you might see a little bit of hair coming off the edge. Right, that, I'm liking that a lot. So, I think, I think I'm done with my black marker and I'm going to move on to just a little bit of blue. Now with my blue marker, I'm not gonna totally fill these wings in. I'm just gonna kinda put a little outline. So I'm gonna follow my black all the way around and do the same thing on this side there I feel like this blue is maybe a little too dark to fully fill in my wings so that's kind of kind of a way for me to just do just to add a little more color in there all right and finally what color is a bee yellow of course so we are going to fill in this big old B and I'm going to take special attention and make sure that I do not fill in his eyeballs, right? So what I'm going to do, I'll start here. So I'm going to go around, around his eye. So that way the white part of his eyeball stays white. All right, and then I'll color in the rest. All right, I think that's it. Our B is complete. What do you think? The last, the last little signs of summer, right? Next week is October currently, so these little guys are gonna be gone till next year. But that means I think next week, I'm probably gonna start doing some, maybe some fun Halloween stuff. So maybe some, uh, maybe a little Frankenstein or some pumpkins. I don't know. We'll figure out something cool to do. But if you don't want to miss that, make sure that you like and subscribe. Thanks for drawing with me and I will see you next time.